Good morning, first grade artists. This is Mrs. Langless back with another art project. Um, and today's I'm really excited because we've been working so much on lines lately um, that we're gonna be doing another project that focuses on lines, but this time we're gonna be drawing something real, um, something from nature. So today we're gonna be focused on drawing leaves. And you know, leaves have really been taking center stage lately. Um, in Maine, they've been changing color. You probably have noticed them around your house. They've been really going through a beautiful color change from yellows and oranges, and then they're falling off the trees, and then it gets to be really fun because you can go out and make piles and jump in them. So the first part of this project is going to be that I would like each of you to go outside and find a leaf. Um, this leaf is going to be one that you are going to be drawing today. So here's an example of where we're headed. The first thing that you will need is a leaf. The second thing that you will need is a piece of your project paper and a pencil. Once you have those things, you're going to get started. So first, let's um, take a look at the leaf that I brought to show you. So here's my leaf, and this is actually one that I have had for over a year now. So you can see it's really dry and it's got some holes in it, but I just love this leaf because it's so nice and big. This is a leaf from an oak tree um, right near my house uh, that I really love. And it's still really keeping its color, which is nice too. So the main thing that I wanna look at to begin is take a look and see if you see any lines. Um, sometimes it helps if you flip your leaf over. So if you have your leaf and you're looking at it, um, if you flip it over, sometimes you can see the lines a little bit easier. So right away, I notice that I've got this main line here that goes from the bottom of my leaf all the way to the top. This line is called the stem of my leaf, just like the stem of a flower. And then if you take a look coming out from the stem are these smaller lines that move out to the sides, moving diagonally if I'm holding it this way and our stem is moving vertical. You might also notice that there are even smaller lines that come out. Now these smaller lines are called veins. What else do you know that have veins? If you said we do, you'd be right. So we have lines in our body. I don't know if you can see um, the veins that are running through um, my wrist there. Those are lines that run through our body and help us to live and survive, just like these veins help to bring water and food to our leaf. All right, so let's start our drawing. Oh, and you know what? First, before we do, um, I wanted to just tell you that your leaf might not look a whole lot like mine. That's because every tree has a different looking leaf. So for example, I've got some here. These are drawings of leaves. Here is a leaf that looks more like a maple leaf. So you'll notice that it's got a different shape. It also has different lines. Here is a leaf that's a little bit rounder and wider at the bottom. And then it comes to a point at the top. If you flip this upside down, it almost looks like a heart shape. Now this leaf, is a lot sort of longer, but is also curved. And I noticed that it has this almost zigzag line making it look rough on the edges. So depending on um, the trees that are around you, you're gonna end up with different leaves. All right, so I think that I'm going to draw this leaf right here um, that I showed you earlier. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a piece of paper and my pencil to get started. So, what I'm gonna start with first, and I'm just gonna move my leaf over a little bit so I have room. What I'm gonna start with first is the largest line here. So I'm gonna start with my stem, okay? And I'm gonna make my stem going from the bottom of the paper to the top. And just keep in mind that you want your leaf to fill up most of the paper. It is the main subject. Okay, so there is my stem so far. Next, I have the smaller lines that come out from the stem. Notice that some of them are longer and some of them are shorter. 
So I'm going to start right at the bottom first. And I'm going to draw my first little vein that I'm seeing. And then I see that there's another one on this side. Next, I see one that gets a little bit longer. And then it happens on the other side again. Next, I'm going to go to this one. This gets a lot longer. And then I'm going to do it on the other side again. This next one, a little bit further up here, and it gets very long. And again, on the other side. Let's see, now I'm up here, and I noticed it's really pointing up. And this one as well. And then I'm noticing that it's starting to get shorter again. So I'm going to start to make it shorter and shorter. And then I see a little, just a couple little guys right at the top. All right, so far so good. Now I notice that I've got these smaller ones that sort of come out. So I'm just gonna put those on here kind of randomly. And as I do this, it's really kind of interesting what happens. My leaf starts to look like something else. Think about what this leaf looks like as I add these little veins coming out. Do these almost look like branches to you? Now it looks like I've drawn a tree. I find that so interesting that on every leaf is a tree at the center, which makes sense because where do leaves come from? They come from the trees. Pretty cool fact. All right, now that I've drawn my leaf or at least the center of it, now I need to draw the outside line. This is going to create the shape of my leaf. And I notice that it's kind of bumpy or zigzaggy. And I know this would have a point up here, but it broke off. So I'm going to draw that anyway. So what I'm going to do once again is start at the bottom down here. And I'm going to just follow with my eyes. I noticed it comes out to a point, then it kind of comes in, comes out to a point, comes in to a point and then it comes in and out and it follows this pattern all the way up the leaf where it goes in and then it comes out and then it points at the top. Now I'm gonna have to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna come over here and come to a point and then come in, point, in. Now if your two sides don't look exactly alike, that's okay because in nature, nothing is perfect. There are lots of things that are more random and I think, oh, I'm going to fix that last part because I didn't like how that turned out. Let's see. We'll make it come in and then come up to our point. Now I think that I drew my leaf. There it is. So for the next step of the project, all I want you to do is now choose some crayons. And you are going to make your pencil lines disappear. So I'm going to use some fall-like colors to just trace over my line. So I've got this nice kind of goldish color. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go back and forth, pressing down, kind of hard. You really want your line to show up and kind of um, go over that main stem line. Now I'm gonna come out and just, again, I'm pressing down pretty hard on my crayon so that I'm really making a strong line. That's why I like what I like to call it, when it really shows up good. I'll call that strong lines. So there are my main veins. Now I'm gonna come back and do the smaller ones, and I think I'm gonna switch colors this time. So I'm gonna take this kind of nice reddish color. Oh, I missed that one, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna make my little small veins so basically, I'm redoing the process again. And the last thing that I'll go, I'll go over will be the outside shape. And if you feel like you need to add a couple more little lines on the way because you feel like that would look better, feel free to do that. So now I'm going to choose my color for the outer edge of my leaf. And I think I'll go with an orange because I've been seeing lots of oranges out there lately. And again, I just want to make a nice strong line. So I'm almost, you know, I'm going back and forth. It's almost like I'm coloring the line, but I'm also tracing it. So tracing is a little bit different than coloring something in because all you're doing is following the path of the line that you just created. Almost there. 
And then I'm just gonna keep on going until I get back to the other side. Now, this is just going to be step number one of this process because we are going to be doing something else with this next week. So let me get you back to the beginning here. There we are. So now I have my leaf. All the lines are traced. Um, let me show you a couple of other examples. So here is an example that I showed you at the beginning, okay? And then here's another one. This is one of the maple leaves that I chose to do, okay? So work on your leaf drawing. I'm really excited to see what you come up with with this. Make sure to take a photo and send it back to me um, just to give you a little sneak preview of what's next. Let's see, can I find it? Oh, I can, it's right here. Um, next week, we are going to be adding color to our leaves as well as the background around our leaves and we're gonna be painting. So let me show you, here's an example of a maple leaf that's all painted. And we're gonna be using watercolor for that. So stay tuned um, for the next step of the process. Um, hope you have fun with it. It's great to do artwork from nature, get you outside, some fresh air, play in the leaves a little bit, and then make some amazing artwork. Have a great day, everyone, and I will look forward to working with you again next week.